Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The leader of the UK's biggest trade union, Unite, has demanded that the Labour Party investigates what he claims are attempts by some Labour MPs to undermine his re-election campaign. Len McCluskey is being challenged for the leadership of the union by Gerard Coyne. The result of the contest will be announced at the end of the month. And as our industry correspondent John Moylan explains, it could impact Labour's future. He's the former Liverpool dock worker who rose to become the most powerful trade union leader in Britain. But he's up against this man, Gerald Coyne, politically to Len McCluskey's right, who believes that the UK's biggest union needs to change. Make sure that you do vote because it's really important. Campaigning in Nottingham, Gerald Coyne says the union needs to focus on the challenges of Brexit, insecure work and increasing automation. And he's scathing about what he calls Len McCluskey's meddling in the Labour Party. I'm standing because I believe the union has spent too much time messing in Westminster politics. And actually what we need to do is make sure that we're focused on making our members' priorities absolutely top of the agenda. This contest matters because whoever ends up occupying the General Secretary's office on the seventh floor of the Unite headquarters here in central London will have an influence which stretches from workplaces right through to Westminster. Unite is the UK's biggest trade union and of course it is the biggest donor to the Labour Party. What's more, Len McCluskey has been one of the most powerful supporters of Jeremy Corbyn. Unite put £225,000 into Mr Corbyn's leadership campaigns. He says he's standing on his record, that he spends 90% of his time on industrial matters and he rejects accusations of political meddling. Of course we're involved, but always driven by Unite's policy, determined by our members. It's my job to make certain that their views, their policies are heard in the corridors of powers. If I have to kick doors down, I'll do that. Uh, but the idea that I spend too much time meddling in Westminster politics is, is ridiculous. There is a third challenger seen as politically to the left of Len McCluskey. Ian Allenson says he's the grassroots candidate. I think I'm the one candidate in this election who hasn't worked at the top of the union for decades and I know the kind of frustrations and experiences of members first hand uh, and I think that needs shaking up and putting right. The political stakes are high. Seasoned Westminster watchers believe the race could define the future direction of the Labour Party. It feels like a proxy battle for the Labour leadership. There's no question Corbyn will be watching this result and he will be hoping it goes his way and Len McCluskey wins because if Gerard Coyne wins, he knows that he'll have another enemy. Whoever wins will lead Unite through to the next election. Voting in this increasingly bitter battle closes in just over a week. John Moylan, BBC News. I've been